Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying two items from Trader Joe's and one from somewhere else. We have the Trader Joe's chocolate covered wafer cookie. And then the candy cane JoJo's dark chocolate bar. Right, and then we're gonna be trying the Lenny and Larry's because we found it and we figured we'd throw it in here too. This is the Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. It's a holiday recipe. It is the peppermint, uh, peppermint chocolate cookie. So, prices, the Lenny and Larry cookie was $2.29. I wrote it. Wait a minute. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. I'm trying to figure out where we bought it even. I can't even tell where we bought that. Mm -hmm. His handwriting is a true doctor's handwriting. Whole Foods. Whole Foods. Oh, that's, I remember it now. Yeah. <laughs> Lenny and Larry's was two twenty nine from Whole Foods. I remember buying it. It and was the, on an end cap. The Trader Joe's, the, the Joe Joe's was $1.99. Okay. And the uh, wafer cookie was 99 cents. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just couldn't remember where we got that. But yet, once you said Whole Foods, it was like, ah, I remember they had all the holiday stuff on mm -hmm. an end cap. Yeah. And that's where that's I found it. So we're gonna try the uh, wafer cookie first. Uh, the wafer, yeah, wafer cookie, even though it's shaped like a candy bar. These are made in uh, Monrovia, California, it says. But it's a product of Poland. Poland. Uh, one bar, 55 grams, is 290 calories. So. Like a nutty bar. It does look like a nutty bar, but it, I don't think it's gonna have peanuts. No. If I'm eating that, I expect peanut butter. That's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's like peanut butter. Oh, well, I just broke it in half, literally. It's, it doesn't matter where you bite it at. So this is chocolate. Mm-hmm. It took me a minute to really get the chocolate. I like it. I don't think it's bad. Yeah, but I don't think it's great either. For 290 calories, there are so many other candy bars that I would rather have than this. Yeah, <clears throat> for it is fairly cheap. That. 79 cents is pretty cheap, but it's it tastes cheap. But I, it, I, I can go to Walmart and for 88 cents and for fewer calories, I can buy a Reese's cup or anything or a payday yeah. or yeah. And it's a lot fewer calories. There's better candy bars at, at Trader Joe's. There's better candy bars at Trader Joe's. So yeah, if you want to go with the Trader Joe's brand, they have much better uh, chocolate. And this isn't a candy bar. This is a wafer. But still, it's just not worth it. I just don't think it's... I don't think it's worth it for your calories. No. Just, just, I just don't. No, it's not very I'll be surprised if these are around in three years. Because I, I, I just can't imagine somebody loving these so much that they want to buy them all the time. No. No, they're just not great. And... Uh, don't even get started comparing them to other wafer cookies. Oh yeah, we, we won't compare them. Uh, even just, even a, I know it's peanut butter over chocolate, even the Nutty Buddy, uh, butter, Nutty Buddy, um, Little Debbie's are so much better. Now you have to show how big this is. This is the Lydia the Larry's. It Very strong. It smells, yeah, it smells really good. Let me cut it half and then you can talk about it. Yeah, this, um, we, um, if you, we haven't reviewed one of these cookies in a long time because Quite frankly, we don't, um, we haven't seen any in a while that we haven't already reviewed. Um, and these aren't available everywhere where we shop. Um, so this is the uh, 10 grams of fiber per cookie, plant-based, holiday recipe, Lenny and Larry's The Complete Cookie. We usually try it heated and unheated if you go back and look at our previous videos because we, we're told by people uh, as we were reviewing them that they're really good heated up. So that's what we started doing during the reviews. Um, Non-GMO, no soy, no dairy, no egg, vegan kosher, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial sweeteners, zero gram sugar alcohols, uh, sustainable palm oil, LennyandLarry.com. Uh, these are made in, uh, they're distributed out of Los Angeles, California. Um, and uh, go ahead and cut us a piece of that heated so we can have it warm. Um, half a cookie, so half a cookie is 210 calories. The whole cookie is 420. 
So we're gonna try heat it first. Actually, heat it up. Oh. I heated up like seven seconds, but that wasn't quite enough, so I did another five. So. Mm. I like the texture of it very, very much, him because it's like a, it's warm and it's a very soft. It's like night and day. <laughs> I was going to say almost it's exact words. It's not bad at all, straight from the package. Not at all. Um, it has a, um, a nice peppermint flavor. They, um, it's borderline toothpaste though. So I think it hit and went into toothpaste. You did, though. okay. Yeah. I think it's very, very, very borderline toothpaste. Um, it's not, I think it's because it's not sweet. Mm -hmm. It's all peppermint. Mm -hmm. So it's, there's not a lot of sweetness there. Even the chocolate flavor is not very sweet. It's kind of got a darker, cocoa -y kind of flavor. I don't get really get a, the flavor of the chocolate. No, I just got the peppermint. It, so it doesn't add any sweetness to it. So mm -hmm. you get all peppermint and it's like you're eating peppermint oil out of the, that you make cookies with or candy or something. It's like you're taking a drop of peppermint oil and steam on your tongue. It's really, really strong and it's very toothpaste-y. I do not mind this. I wouldn't buy it. Again. This would be, if, if I really wanted something, if, if you like Lenny and Larry's <laughs> already, I would recommend heating it, number one. Oh yeah, because heating it's by far it the is best so, way. The texture is so nice, and it is like a fresh baked cookie when you heat it because mm -hmm. it's so soft. Um, although it's good straight out of the package, so if you're it's eating it on the um, It's drier and tougher when, you, when it's dry. When but it's just know, it. that's probably going to be one of those cookies that you buy one of during the season, and then you probably won't buy anymore. Yeah. That'll probably satisfy that craving you have. Um, I, I don't would. think it's bad, but you did buy. think it was too yeah, bad. I would buy it. So, I'm just thinking for people who already buy Lenny and Larry all the time. Try it. I mean, if you've never tried it before, try it. Just know that you might think it's toothpaste. Yeah, might be too much. Uh, this is the Trader Joe's Candy Cane JoJo's Dark Chocolate Bar. Dark Chocolate Bar with JoJo's Cookie Bits, generously topped with crushed peppermint. It is, uh, this does not have any, like this uh, wafer said it was from Poland. Uh, I did say Poland, didn't I? Thank yeah, you. Poland. This actually just says Monrovia, California. A third of the bar, 26 grams is 140 calories. You can eat the entire bar for 420 calories. And their JoJo's are like sandwich cookies, right? Yes. It's like an Oreo. Yeah, so I would expect some of that in there. Okay, so this is the top, and then this is the bottom. Yeah, it's got a decent amount of peppermints in the uh, candies in there. I'm wondering, I'm one more more curious about the JoJo part than the candy cane part. It's a darker chocolate for mm -hmm. sure. Oh yeah. I like it, but you need to like dark chocolate. It's very dark. Mm hmm It's very... Dry your mouth out. Yes. Bitterness there. If it didn't have the crushed peppermint, then I would say that I wouldn't get it. No, because that's probably a 70% darker better. Yeah, it, it's pretty dark. It's It seems like it. It doesn't... Um, it doesn't say what it is, but it, it's very, very dark. For me, honestly, I like the, the, I think they did a good job. It's a good quality. I personally wouldn't buy it again because it is too dark for me. Right. I would love to see the same thing in, in milk. milk chocolate. Yeah, I would like to see that in milk chocolate or even a white, the white yeah. chocolate or like an almond bark, uh, a, um, a, what do they call that? White, white confection, or, white confection or something. Um, I would like to see that. The same peppermint JoJo's uh, with, a, you know, like a cookies and cream type thing. Um, because I do think it's a good quality. Yeah. It's just too dark for me personally. If you like dark though, I think you would really appreciate that. Yeah, it's that. worth a try at least. Yes. So, um, out of the three, um, and you have to choose one. You don't have a choice. I would pick this JoJo's candy bar. Um, I'd pick that one, even though it's dark, at least it has 
some sweetness to it. The I didn't the wafer cookie was nothing to me. I didn't like it at all. If I don't and the cookie I didn't like it at all. If I don't care about price, calories, anything else, I'm picking the Lenny and Larry's. Mm -hmm. Just because um I do like that the hunks of the, you get those white chips in there. I like that. I got a, a, a white chip in each one of the bites that I took. Um, and I really love that texture when it's heated in the microwave. A little bit of toothpaste, but you know, I still- I You thought, didn't mind it as much as I did. No, I didn't. Uh, so <laughs> I hope this helps you out. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.